Hey guys, MZ here. Welcome back to Near Automata. Uh, we have just dealt with the carnival. That was bizarre, actually. That was really kind of kind of strange. But we have dealt with the carnival. We are back here with the uh, with the resistance members. We have to get our next uh, next mission. I thought we were supposed to get our next mission right here, but. But, I guess I was wrong. Our next mission is way over there. So we're going to have to run all the way out. Excuse me, pardon me. We're going to have to run all the way out and about and all around to get to our next obje objective. Aw. Poor little person. We will pray for you. We will pray for you, Natsu, and we will retrieve things because this is a damn good way to get experience. Not to mention a buttload of items that I can then... Uh, send off to or sell off to the collector guys all right um first things first whoops no not I didn't mean quick save I wanted to find out where my next objective is my next objective is way over there crap how am I supposed to get there now oh well we'll figure it out some excuse me coming through pardon me <clears throat> now I've not done any more fishing just because it's kind of time consuming I mean it's cool that you can but it's really kind of time consuming to to uh, go fishing so I haven't really messed around with that Well, not since I not since I got kind of done playing as as two B. Although it is it is really kind of fun. It looks a little weird because you send your little guy out there to uh, your little pod. You like send him out, but it, it is a lot of fun. It's interesting, anyways. All right, but we need to get to our next destination because well, because of raisins. And I think we have to meet with Pascal now? I'm not 100% on that one. Let's see here. Yeah, because we beat the carnival. And then a robot came out of nowhere and was like, Hey, hooray, you saved us from whatever he was or she was. We saved you, or you saved us. So now you got to come with me and we got to, we have to, um... We have to take you to our home and, and say thank you or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> I just know he said, hey, follow me. So that's going to open up that side area for us. So we can get through here. Yeah. Oh, items. I love items. But I'm kind of curious on where the story is going to go. I mean... We're seeing this from 9S's perspective, more or less. So I'm really kind of wondering, uh, you know, where where is it going to lead us? Because it could very well take us to, uh, well, it could take us, oh, what is that? What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare oh. parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. That's right, I forgot all about that. Alright, so they're resupplying the bunker. So that way they can keep making... Precious earrings. That way they can keep making, uh... Yorha units, I suppose? So That's another the thing. Machines, or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly. They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Uh, I just... Come on, get down. I disagree. I think... I think there are plenty of ways to find out what an alien is thinking. You try talking to them, for one. Just saying. Or, you know, not blowing them up. It'd probably be a really good way to figure out what they're what they're thinking or why they're doing the things that they do. 
Oh, are we going to get a little story? I like these little stories. I'm actually kind of glad I kept this up, because otherwise I would have just left it alone after... Brother? Why do we have to wear undergarments? It's such a hassle. <laughs> the records claim humans covered their crotches as they went about their business. Oh Revealing God. one's genitals was seen as problematic. <laughs> so just be quiet and wear them already. Okay. But why are we eating this plant matter? Machines don't need to eat things like this. This is a type of fruit. Our data suggests that mankind gained great intelligence from consuming fruit. So quit griping and eat it already. All right. If that's what you want. But once we're done, can we play together for a bit? Fine. Oh, great. Then I'll eat lots of fruit. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I love these little story bits. Um, these things are great. Although that was kind of an awkward conversation between the two. <clears throat> oh, man. Although you have to you have to admit there's a lot of things that people take for granted that we don't actually think about because well, that's what we're taught. That would probably be one that would come to my mind too. It's like why do I have to wear clothes? Or why do I have to eat? Like especially they all have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Like especially with the um wow, they do. They all have them. Crap. Even the big ones got one stuck to them. Anyways, uh, with the androids, they don't have to eat. So it would be kind of questioning for them to go, Hey, why do I need to eat this food? Although, in part, Adam has it right. By eating a balanced diet, fruits, vegetables, that's it. Um, it does actually help your brain to grow and develop. So you, in a way, you kind of gain great uh, intelligence from eating fruit. Although I think it's more going on the whole biblical Adam and Eve eating of the fruit thing. But anyways, what up, Pascal? How you doing? Whoa, I ran right past you. Machine life form. Hello. Before we begin, there's something we must understand. We are not your enemies. To be. We can't trust anything the machines say. Well. I understand that you see us as the enemy, but, well, anyway. My name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. You'll see that it's true. No, I just kind of want to get on with the uh, thing. We already have something in a relationship. Yeah, that's true. In fact, I'm hoping you take this to Anemone. Oh, that's right. They give us a part. Yep. <laughs> if you take it to her, it should make it clear that we're peaceful. Yeah, okay. I guess. Alright, hey, can I shop? Can I shop here? Waving a flag is fun. Oh, that's right. Most of them don't even know why they're doing what they do. They just do it. Hey, I have an arcade function. I never noticed that. Play hack games you've cleared. Oh, God, no. No. I'm going to have nightmares of the hacking game. Alright. I don't think there's anyone really I need I need to interact with. I mean, there's the... Oh, hey, the two sisters are here. What up? Oh, alright. I was kind of hoping for some new dialogue or something, but... Oh, well. Alright, yep. So I guess all I can do, really, is run that part back over to, uh... Excuse me. Run that part back over to... Anemone. Nope, not... What is... Alright, so that takes us back to there... This part takes us over towards the, what, the Forest Kingdom or whatever? Whoa. Come on, camera, work with me. There we go. Oh. Well, whoa. 
I don't remember this. Or do I? No, no, I don't remember that part. I do remember this because... The city ruins if we move that box. I do remember this because we had to move the box and it took forever because I was like, 9S, why aren't you helping? <clears throat> Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Hey, what up, Operator? important to discuss with you today. What is it? Our maintenance team filed a complaint about how you treat your flight unit. They requested that you cease making unauthorized modifications. Well, I kind of had to. There's so much excess data sent to me from the satellite, it's delaying aim correction. If you have a rebuttal, you need to discuss it with maintenance. <laughs> Find it out if you must. Operator 210, out. Ah. Uh. Nice. My operator's more prone to violence than I thought. Prone to violence? What? No. She just meant that you have to argue your point sometimes. But she does have a point. I mean, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be changing up your OS, then uh, you kind of, you kind of should run it past the certified mechanical people who are actually working on it, as opposed to just doing it yourself. It can cause problems. Hey, Anemone. Here's your item. Got a package for you. <coughs> See me. Consort with machines that are totally harmless. Sounds good. Take this high viscosity oil. Take this really special oil back to them, will you? Ready to room here for Yorha. All right. Feel free to make use of it whenever you like. Oh, that's right. They gave us our own little. Uh, they gave us our own little room over there. I forgot about that. But we're not gonna stop here yet because it's too early. Uh oh. started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. Well, uh -oh. hi. Oh, come on. Do I not do as much damage? No, I really don't do that much damage at all, actually. But I am i am an operator, or an operator. I am, however, a sensory unit, so I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't do so much damage. Or at least not as much damage as 2B would. Think of that. 2B, I think it's a, I think the B is for, like, battle. She's a combat model. Meanwhile, 9S is a sensory type. An operator, obviously. They all have the O designation. But I kind of wonder, because there's two, or one A, something like that. There's one that we meet that's got that name. Uh, I don't understand what her designation could be. It's kind of one of the reasons why I really wanted to continue playing this, because I was hoping to figure out uh, is she an assault type, maybe? Alright, how do I... Did I pass it up? I thought I could have gotten through here. Nope, oh, there it is. There we are. Alright. We'll run back, we'll give this to Pascal, find out what's going on. At least as far as... as at least as far as they know. And then I think they're going to send us off to the Forest Kingdom. Pascal, where? Oh, you're way up there. Shop. Can I buy anything from you? Anything worthwhile? Yes, let me see your weapons. Machine sword. Hmm. Machine axe? Wow. Machine spear. Hmm. Fifteen thirty. Eh, you know, I have enough money. I might as well uh, 
purchase these. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Oh. From a legendary swordsmith? I wonder, is the legendary swordsmith that dude that we fought... There was one that he protects the wildlife or whatever, so I wonder if maybe... Hmm. True story. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. <laughs> Emergency transmission incoming. We All right. detected a Goliath class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All your members are ordered to engage at once. But Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. I promise you. We were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Yeah, who cares? Traps aren't real. Not in this game. There's no such thing as a real trap. Although... Nah. Nah, there's no traps. The only question, I was going to make a claptrap reference, but... Operator 210 here, do you read me? Operator what do you want? To 9S, I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first, we've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Nice. Two of them? Now, the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. Nice. All right, can I have my stuff now? Check your map data. Operator out. I'm Thanks, here. Operator. I'm here. Oh. Command is deploying new flight units for oh. us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. So where's they there? I was going to say, so where's my flight units at? All right, and new flight units, new combat stuff going on here. Gonna take on some Goliaths that are, are they shooting at me? Is that, oh boy, they are. Don't you shoot at me, you bastards. You bastards. Using long range missiles. Who do they think they are using long range missiles on me? Oh, give me the item. Okay, run away. We gotta get up there to our flight unit. Well, over to our flight units. I thought they would let us head into the uh, the Forest Kingdom next. I didn't realize they'd pop us right into the next fight. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. Oh. Run. Run, run. Aw. Yeah, I realize it's it's Cambusa. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, that's nice. Run away. All right, so I need to get in here. Got to travel up the stairs. Where are the stairs? Stairs, stairs. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Oh, this music. It just pumps you up, makes you want to freaking do things. You don't want to slow down, stop, nothing. Nope, we're just running. That's all we're doing. And 2B magically teleports. That's one thing I don't like, is the magically teleporting uh, followers in any game. You name the game. It bothers me. Because <clears throat> usually they magically teleport right in front of me when I'm trying to do something impor important. Important. Oh. Two B, displaying data on central wiring hub. Oh. Hey, I forgot they shoot at you. 
All right, can I get out? Can I get out of here? Can I run away? Nope. Nope, can't run away. Gotta wait. Ow! Forgot they did that. Nope. 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 Not, not taking... Not taking any hits again like that. Ooh. Double whammy. Screw you. Nope. Not getting, not getting double, double smacked. Not happening. So what are you gonna do, man? Huh? Ah! Come on, just break the. Oh, hey! What the hell was that? I dodged. Oh, I probably dodged into it. That was probably my problem. Because I only hit the dodge once, so... I probably just ran myself straight into the thing. Wow. Yeah, I can see. There we are. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Nope. Nope. Not going to hit me with that. Nope, not doing it. Don't even care. Hey, Mr. Um, Mr. Goliath class. It'd be really nice if you could, I don't know, go down and, and explode or something. Mr. Giant Robot Bad Guy, it'd be really great if you could do that. Because these fights are kind of long and drawn out and entirely unnecessary. Ooh, I barely dodged that one. Alright. Oh, God, and I can't see. There we go. Oh, you are so close to being finished off, dude. Just just stop and just just be finished off. You know, you could just, you know, stop attacking me. Let me deal the final blow or two and be done, right? You know, that'd be great. There we go. Leveled up. Bam. Let's get to those flight units while we can. Yeah. Give me my new flight units. Hmm. Which one do I want? Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it. Thanks. God, these things remind me of the freaking um. Uh, Robotech, anime. I love that anime. That anime was so great. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some, uh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, man? Huh, what are you doing? Are we shooting him in the waist? Ah. Oh, I guess I didn't dodge. I thought I dodged. Ow, hey. I'm trying to dodge here. You're not making it very easy on me. That's alright. You're not going to be around for much longer anyways. Nicely done. Not going to wait 900 seconds. Oh, hi. Forgot about your energy beam. Oh, and you have missiles too, don't you? Yep, yep, you do. You do indeed have missiles. You have all the missiles everywhere. Whoa! Don't you shoot that at me. 
I do not want to have your energy vomit all over me. Thank you so much. Appreciated, but no. 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 Ah. And you're down. Oh, yeah, buddy. <coughs> See me. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Oops. What the? I think we broke the map. Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Hmm. All right. Oh, goodness. I don't know, that fight seemed a whole lot easier this time around than before. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, and our little flight units are going to leave us behind. You're what up, operator? Oh, Commander. Time in centuries. We've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Sounds kind of like propaganda. I use command's data to determine the signal source <clears> and mark <throat> it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. And there's a lot of these dudes around. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? Oh, that's right, energy snakes and... Wow, hi! How you guys doing? Nope. Nope, we're just gonna nope out of here. Analysis. It is a haven caused by the collapse of an open space underground. That's a weird looking enemy. Yep, digger droids. The machine oh, army's crazy. excavation there unit. must have been a hollow down there this whole time. And there should be a safe spot, which is what I'm trying to run to. I think. Hi! How you doing? What are you? Are you a digger as well, or...? No, you don't have the... Uh... Oh! You have, like, scythes, so you're more of, like, a harvester or something instead of a... Ow! Looks like... You know, his arms had blades on them, so I would say he probably... Oh, sweet! Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, I was not expecting that. Why would you... why would you do that? Whoa. Um... Okay, I got lots of items off of that one. Anyways. <clears throat> that, uh... That robot's arms were like scythes, so he seemed more like a harvester, as opposed to something that could dig through rock or dirt or something. Aw. We'll pray for you, Rami. And we'll get a buttload of experience, a little bit of money and items. Hi. This hallway looks pretty old. How you guys doing? Ow. Ow. Why does everyone want to attack me?
There we go. But yeah, it's like those claw arms of it, they couldn't, uh, they wouldn't be able to dig through all this stuff. I mean, his arms were more for, for harvesting, so he definitely did not dig all this out. However, where are they at? There should be some, yep, there should be some drill heads back here. Good old, good old drill head bad guys. Reminds me of, like, old Mega Man days. Did we get him? Yep, we got him. Alright. And then... Was that it? Just the one? I really would kind of like to have a... Hi! Screw you. I just want a save point. I want to be able to uh, save the game. Let's get to that point. Look at all these dead machines. Oh. Seems like they've been here for a long time. <clears throat> oh. That's right. We have to play with the twins first. Oh, man. All right. All right. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Oh, there's some... There's some corpses. Are they dead? To be. Huh? Look. Oh yeah. Not only are they dead. Alien motherships. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. What's up, y'all? Bad thing is the aliens look like they've been dead for a while now. <clears throat> ha! Before you guys even get a chance, I'm gonna yeah. pray and retrieve. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you see. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm. 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 Uh, praying for people. No longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us, the machines. Why do? Uh oh. And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, Ow. the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the Ooh. humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They killed Crap. uncountable no. members of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive Holy crap, such dude. behavior? We have dedicated Ow. ourselves Stop it. to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And I mean, now thanks. we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's Ow, God, I'm we dodging. Come on. locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The yeah, only we're... remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. Yeah, the I had it. Aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Yeah, I kind of had that all wrong.
I had thought that Adam, that at the very least Adam had had been materialized Back this way again? beforehand. What a pain! Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. I had thought that uh, Adam had been materialized beforehand, and he was the one that killed them all. Operator six zero. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Wait a second. They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. <clears throat> yeah, I'd had it wrong before. I thought that Adam had been materialized beforehand and that he had brought about the end of the creators. You know, the alien creators. But, uh... Apparently, it was just the machines themselves. I guess the army stopped wanting to take orders. Hey, Jackass! Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so... Here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this yeah. has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Yeah, they've got plenty of resources. Anyways, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a good day. And goodbye.